Okay. I'm all kind of snotted up. Made me nauseated. I slept for a few hours and it first starts fine and it's like uh, miserable, I'm autistic and a disaster and I'm gonna die alone. Which I totally wasn't earlier when I went to sleep. I was just like kind of reading it. I was like, oh, I guess I'm so tired. I'm gonna have to roll over and go to sleep. I guess so. Oh, well, there goes that day. But I was kind of okay with it. Whatever. It feels nice to fall asleep. But then it's just like, no. And so I had to get my Pepto-Bismol for my nausea because I also have acid reflux all the time. So the drainage is doing that. And then I've got all that. And I, so I took another Omeprazole and I took two more day quills. Probably should have taken a night quill instead, but whatever. And I'm still snotted. And doctor, you give me a thing. It's like, because I don't have anything supposedly, but allergies. But either way, it's like, great. This has to be my break. Last time I had to have a few master and that time I was like, really? So hopefully this doesn't ruin my break entirely. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can get to, and the lighting and stuff is bugging me right now too. Again, I always wonder sometimes if the color of the walls is part of the problem. But yeah, this always helps a little bit. Have it all. This, let's see that one says, the key to everything is patience. You get the chicken by hatching the egg, not by smashing it. So yeah, it's nice. But either way, I'm just trying to get through. Mm. Someone autistic found me on Facebook dating this. I was like, okay. And he's like, were you in yet? And I went into the whole story. It's like, I probably should have been. Uh, having a special needs brother who had a uh, brain injury and stuff like that probably didn't help out. And then having all my cousins right nearby because we were around my age because next to, uh, because of this tiny town in Texas probably, you know, made it where it was less obvious because it's like, well, he's just a little shy, whatever, put it off to the side and leave it there. I had really, I had two friends, one who went with me on vacation and then my best friend who it's like, we were inseparable, even though he was like, he saw himself as the teacher's least favorite kid and me as uh, the favorite and going dragged in teacher always drew a picture of me and him both in our career day outfits because he's a great artist kind of freaked out my mom but he would always ask about like mocha and coco mocha spelled wrong because i just i literally just put m in front of coco so technically it's mick oko so i don't know but either way, where the left hand is stupid and the right hand is smart because it does all the work. And we both, me and my best friend both had hands named Coke. I can't remember what his left hand was named, but either way, it's funny. They just, I don't even worry about it. And so he always wanted to know about our shenanigans and stuff. But yeah, so hopefully I won't, I can get through this, but without smashing the egg, because it's just hard. But I've been reading more of this guy. So, we shall see. <sighs> That's right, which I'd rather not have to be drinking just because of the calories and stuff like that. And, you know, you rely on it too much and it's just a mess. But it's like, what can you do? Especially with all my taste stuff and I haven't been able to eat. I'm going to try and eat tomorrow. Let's see. So, make a plan. Let's see. If anything, if I can't get myself to do anything, I'll have Pop-Tart tomorrow for breakfast. I have, um... Uh, chow mac and cheese, and a smoothie. I have a smoothie. I'll do that. Hopefully, that clears up a little because it's just like, nope, you've got nothing to eat. Even though I do, my brain's just like, nope, you literally cannot eat. And I don't know if it partially has anything to do with this, but either way, it's just like kill me now we'll figure it out at some point but yeah so me and Jericho gonna hang out play a little Sudoku read a little bit hope for the best until time to go to sleep see <laughs> bye